Welcome back to Silk Scouts. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the Jets' third round pick, Ashton Davis. I might just hit it through a horse. That's on my element. I like ball skin. Love a melon. The 2020 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Ashton Davis. <laughs> So with the Jets' third pick that they had, round three, number 68 overall, they took Ashton Davis, safety out of Cal. So right off the bat, safety is not a position of need for the Jets at all. They have Jamal Adams playing strong safety and Marcus May playing free safety. Marcus May is a great player and Jamal Adams is even better. And in fact, he's an all-pro and perennial pro bowler. So why did the Jets go safety? Uh, to me, they went safety because in the long run, they're going to need a May replacement because they're going to pay Jamal Adams a huge payday, whether that be this offseason or next offseason. Um, he might get something like a five-year, $80 million deal, something along those lines. So you can't pay two safeties huge contracts. So they'll pay Jamal. They definitely will pay Jamal, um, bearing that he wants to stay. And then they can't have two big contracts in the secondary. They just can't do it. So they have to have a contingency plan in place. So what, what is that? Well, Ashton Davis can then come in after you re after you give the big deal to Jamal Adams. Ashton Davis then can come in and replace Marcus May, the other safety. Because then what you have there is a very cheap player who's very good. Ashton Davis is a very good player, and you'll be paying him on a rookie contract and a very small one because it's a round three deal. So you can have a very high-paid safety than Jamal Adams and a very low-paid safety than Ashton Davis, and that will work out just fine so now getting into Ashton Davis as a player himself so he played mostly free safety but he can do a lot a lot a lot more he's played at weak side linebacker slot corner outside corner free safety and strong safety he's played all five of those positions so right off the bat you see the versatility so what does that mean well Greg Williams a huge huge defensive mind who has has many exotic fronts, exotic blitzes, exotic looks. Defensively, he has a piece that he can move around. He's basically like a queen on a chessboard. You can move this guy anywhere and he will do damage. Now, right off the bat, you can use him uh, blitzing off the edge. You could use him in a big nickel package as an extra, as an extra DB. Um, so he will get playing time right away. He's not going to start right away. Uh, he's just not better than Marcus May and he's not better than Jamal Adams. So he will not start right away. There will be packages, though, that Greg Williams, the Jets defensive coordinator, will put together uh, to have this guy on the field as much as possible. Uh, his best attribute to me, although he's a very, a very good tackler and can play in the box and can play corner, I think his best suited position is free safety. I think he plays that center field position so well. Uh, he has great range, sideline to sideline, um, and can track down the ball in the air very well. Um, so I think he's best suited to be a free safety in the long haul. Now, right away, since the Jets have that spot cleared up, he will play in packages that will get him involved. Um, he'll also be playing a lot, a lot of special teams. This guy's a walk-on. He's been through it all. He's played a lot of different positions a lot, on a lot of different teams. And, you know, he's been on the, he's a walk-on. So he started out with the, with basically the JV guys, um, at Cal, obviously, you know, he's with the, with the younger guys. With the guys who don't get playing time, he's on the scout teams and whatnot. He worked his way up to the starting lineup. He worked his way onto the team, onto the starting lineup, and then drafted into the NFL. And that has to say a lot about his character. That must be—he's a high character guy. Uh, so he has a passion for the game that is just undeniable. Um, the one concern, though, a guy I'm mentioning all of his great attributes. He has seven interceptions at Cal, playing free safety. He can play at all. He plays special. He's a walk-on, high character. So why is he in the third round? Personally, I think he's a second round to late first round grade, possibly. Um, I think he's a top three safety in this draft. He fell in large part because of an injury. Now, I don't want you to get too scared about the injury uh, because although it is a groin and it is ling lingering, possibly, the reason it didn't get cleared out is because of the coronavirus. He couldn't part he couldn't go uh, he couldn't participate in the combine because of the injury, and he could not do team visits. Why are team visits so important? Well, those are where teams can look at you and look at your injury, specifically at that part of the body that they're looking at, and they can see what are your limitations, are there limitations, how bad are these limitations? Um, they couldn't do that for him. They couldn't bring him in. He couldn't fly across the country because of coronavirus, so they had to do what they had to do. 
Um, they had to just go safe, play it safe, and not draft him in the top two rounds, and he fell to the third. Uh, so he didn't have a pro day. He didn't have a combine. He had to send videos of himself doing drills to teams to try to prove himself, to try to prove that he's all right. Uh, but just on tape alone, if there was no injury tape, uh, if there was no injury just based off of tape and, uh, you know, the character that this kid has and stats, you know, he should be a top two round player. Um, so now grade, I'm going to give it an A minus, uh, could be a little high, be, you could say it's a little high because he's not going to start. Well, hold on. This kid was a top two round safety. If he had the, if he didn't have the injury. Okay. The jets are confident that the injury is good. So that's one thing you could, they, without the injury, he was a top two guy. So you get him in the third round. That's insane value. Then on top of that. He has the intangibles and he has the physical abilities to be playing at every position the Jets need him to. He'll be playing weak side linebacker. He'll be playing strong safety. He'll be playing free safety. He'll be playing at all. So although he might not start at free safety, he will be pushing for playing time at all these other positions, which makes him a factor on this defense. Greg Williams will get him on the field as much as possible. So I have to give it an A-. minus. Also, because this was a trade. The Jets traded away a defensive lineman for this pick. Now, this defensive lineman finished the year with one sack. So they didn't lose much production, uh, if at all. Um, so they traded a guy who wasn't prepared for them, sent the Giants for their third rounder. This third rounder was then turned to Ashton Davis. So they traded a D lineman who wasn't producing much for a guy that if he hits his ceiling or if he is a-okay from this injury, uh, he will be a very productive player in the NFL for a long time. Maybe not right away, but you give him the time. You let him progress. You give him that starting role in a year or two um, and let him mold himself. Uh, he's a hard worker. He will get it done. Now, my pro comparison, excuse me, my pro comparison for uh, Ashton Davis will be Chris Conti. Chris Conti went to Cal just like Ashton Davis did. He's 6'2", 203. Uh, Ashton Davis is 6'1", 205. So they, they look exactly the same. Their build, their stature, their everything's the same. Um, I think Ashton is more of an athlete than Conti is, but they both played in the box. They both played uh, in the free safety position as well. They, they're very versatile guys, in, um, both of them. But Ashton Davis is more of an athlete, and you know he has more ability to play wherever more than a Chris Conti. You know you wouldn't see Chris Conti doing punt returns. Ashton Davis will be punt returning for the Jets at some point. Um, he will be playing a lot of positions. He will see the field very much. Um, the only reason I don't give this a higher grade is because he won't be starting right away. Um, and that's a knock, not because I think all third rounders should start right away. That's not what I'm saying. But this kid, will, his, his production and his progression, um, will be halted. It will be slowed down because he doesn't get as many reps as a starting safety would. So he won't reach his ceiling or reach his, his max ability, um, quick, quickly, as quickly as a starting free safety would be. Um, so that's the one knock I have. Um, the injury is a small concern, but to me, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so I can't give it an A plus or an A. Um, but I think down the line, the Jets have a great replacement for Marcus May. And you'll see in the film his insane range, his ability to track the ball, and his tackling ability. So right here is a good example of Ashton Davis's versatility. Um... So off the bat, the Cal Bears have two safeties high. Um, so basically a cover two look. They're kind of lower than usual on a cover two. But regardless, there's two safeties. And then they switch into this look right here before, um, right before pre-snap. So now what's happening is there's one high safety right here. And then you have Ashton over here. And basically what happened to this play call is they were showing cover two at first and they're cover one. So what does that mean for Ashton specifically? Well, before in a cover two, he would have a deep zone and they would basically cut this field back here called the defensive backfield. They would be cutting that into two halves between his fellow safety here and himself. But now that he switched down from here to here, um, he's now playing man on this slot receiver right here. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because a lot of safeties in the NFL aren't asked to play man that often. And when they do, they're not that great at it unless they're up against the tight end, 
because tight ends are slower and safeties are usually slower. But Ashton Davis can play man and have makeup speed uh, because of his versatility and how he's an X-Track star um, and his very athletic background. So to start the play here, Ashton Davis makes a mistake. Um, right, he, he's beat inside on an end breaking route. So we gave him the inside release right there. He gave him the inside release. Um, and you don't want to give a guy running an end breaking route the inside release because then he's will be open. Um, but the reason why I love this play is it shows his inexperience, but also shows why teams love him in his athleticism. So he gets beat on the inside right there, but he has the athleticism to make of speed and the pure speed to be able to make this mistake and then erase it. So he gets beat inside, but he's able to combat that with his athleticism and come up and cut the route and pick it off. So he did get beat inside, which shows an, is an experience, but his athleticism and his speed um, counteracts that, and he's able to just jump the route and pick it off. So that's why your, your teams love this kid, right? He's raw, everyone knows he's raw, but if he's able to make plays in man, being this raw, then imagine uh, his, his uh, ceiling and imagine what's going to happen once he's coached up. Um, so he's beat inside, like I said, on a post route, but he's able, because of his speed, to cut down, come under the round, pick it off. Um, also, I like to mention a nice return here, um, 30 plus yards. Um, and that's another thing he offers, right? I said earlier, special teams guy, he could be a punt return, kick return guy. He has the speed to do it. So on the return, you know, this kid has should have no problem uh, sixing it. So one more time on the play through. Cover two, switch to cover one, gets beat inside, but has the makeup speed to come up, pick it off. And that is against Justin Herbert, who is, it was a top 10 pick in the draft. Um, so it's not like he's playing some horrible quarterback. He's playing a top six draft choice. Chargers took him with a six pick. So great showing here of his ability to play man shows that he's young that he has stuff that he can learn but it also shows he has the make of speed and the athleticism to make plays right now when he comes to the league so on the first play um i liked it because it showed his man on this play i like it because it shows his zone capability and like i said i like him because he's so versatile so right here uh, you see him highlighted at the top of your at the left side of your screen and this is a cover three look so he play, he's playing the middle safety, the deep safety off the snap, um, and he's responsible for anything that comes in between uh, these hashes here. So right off the bat, this receiver is open, right? Uh, he, finds a, he finds a soft spot of the zone um, down the seam, and right now he's open, right? Ashton is about 5, 10, 15 uh, yards away, um, and he's, he's going to make, he's going to need to make a really quick decision here to get over so being that he's in zone he can read the quarterback's eyes um uh so he's reading the eyes of the quarterback sees him ready to want he's, he's ready to throw it right now uh, herbert's ready to throw it right to the to the open man here uh but as the play progresses um i like ashton's footwork at times it, it, it can be questionable but here he does a nice job uh but although his footwork is questionable at times you need fluid hips um if you play in the secondary, to be able to open up and get a proper angle. And that's exactly what Ashton does very well. Um, so right here, opens his hips. Speed, athleticism, boom. That ball's out. Hits the turf, incomplete. So again, nice makeup, speed, and athleticism showcased again here. But this time, while he's playing zone. So he's a very rangy safety. Um, but what does that really mean? So in range as a safety means... If you're playing this this deep portion of the field, um, the deep middle portion of this field, you're able to get from hash to hash, sideline to sideline in a very quick amount of time. So this this play right here fits perfectly into his skill set, and that's why I really love this kid as a prospect to play free safety. Uh, he is very versatile, so he can play anywhere, but to me, he maxes out his potential when he plays free safety. So the range here um, for Ashton Davis, it's a great showing of it. Um, let's watch in full speed, let's just get a sense of it. Um, he really put some power behind that hit, which is really nice to see from a free safety. Um, you know, th there's going to be bigger guys on the next level. You're going to have to dislodge that ball. And I think Ashton Davis should be able to do it. He's, he flies on that field. So, you know, qu questionable uh, footwork at times, but here he does a nice job of getting his read steps, 
um, and then open it up really quickly with his hips, which is something he's really good at. So it, once we, once the, the jet staff can fine tune the footwork to where, where he's able to open up even earlier with his hips um, and get a better get better read steps in, um, to me, the sky's the limit for him at free safety. So great makeup speed, makeup athleticism, nice range, great hit, dislodges the ball. Thank you. So the first play we showed you guys, Ashley Davis is playing man. Um, and the second play, he was playing zone. And on the third play, to further showcase his uh, athleticism and versatility, he's playing in the box. So you hear a lot in the NFL about box safeties. So what does that really mean? Well, the box is from the offensive line of scrimmage five yards deep into the defensive backfield. So it's basically reserved for D linemen and linebackers. Usually safeties don't play down there. So safeties who do play down there are very versatile players. So Ashton Davis is right here on the right side of the screen. He's playing in the box. Um, they like him there because he's he comes up the field quickly. He's not scared to put his nose in there uh, and make some plays. So the run is going to go right after a botched snap. And here comes Ashton Davis up the field. And now he's basically in the offensive backfield here. And he's coming in to make a play. So Ashton Davis does have some concerns when coming up the field. Sometimes he comes up a little too reckless. Um, it doesn't break down and misses some tackles. But on this play, he sets the edge, forces the running back inside so where there's nowhere to go. Um, and also, he knocks the ball out. So right there, you see, he's not scared to come up and make a play on the running back. Pops the ball out, and he jumps down and he gets it. So this play right here shows you that he's willing to go in with the big guys, go in with the linebackers and D linemen, jump down into a pile, and that just shows you um, his love for the game as well as how versatile he is. So he can play man, he can play zone, he can come up, play in the box for you and help you in run support. Um, and I think the Jets are going to use him uh, specifically in the box a lot to start um, and give him some packages where he can just run around freely and do, do what he does best, which is just flying around the field. Um, and right here, again, at the bottom of the pile with all the big guys, again, the fumble recovery. Um, so the great thing from him is that he can play men, he can play zone, he can play in the box. Um, he'll come up and run support if you need him to. Um, and he's willing to get down and dirty with linemen and the linebackers. So I think if you put all that together, there's a lot of places you can put him on um, in the field. Um, so Greg Williams, the defensive coordinator, he can use this guy anywhere he really wants. Um, I think it's a great pick for him off the bat. And if this kid can hit his ceiling at free safety, he'll be at the top of the league. Thank you so much for tuning in to Self Scouts. That was episode three. Tune in tomorrow for episode four. Peace. I might just hit it through a whore, that's on my element I like dark skin, love a melanin Talk, pushing me to talk, when I'm stepping in 30 bottles in the suit, tell them send them in I had the Lambo, switch to the Ferrari I'm a gangster, but I like the party